what is up everyone welcome to GTA online and finally the day has come when I'm gonna buy an oppressor mark 2 I currently have 1.7 million dollars with me and uh, as of July 5th 2020 we have a 50% off of the oppressor mark 2 as you can see right here I'm gonna get it for 1.9 million let's call it 2 million dollars and uh, I can buy it for a trade price of uh, 1.4 million dollars but the thing is for that I'm gonna have to buy a terabyte and then a vehicle workshop in the terabyte so that's gonna be around 1.8 million dollars for the terabyte and then 1.4 million for this and I currently don't have that type of capacity and that type of businesses that I can make over 3 million dollars in a week so I'm gonna buy it for a normal price of 2 million dollars it's still a million off of the trade price of uh, 3 million dollars so let's make some money I currently have to do a few things and then I'll have two million dollars. Firstly I'll sell my cocaine lockup, then the counterfeit cash factory and then I would probably export a couple of cars. And the main reason I need an oppressor mark 2 is for traveling and as you can see I have a lot of businesses on different corners of the map. This is my cocaine lockup and all the way over here I have my input export warehouse and then in this corner I have my bunker so I waste most of the time on traveling and that's pretty frustrating and uh, I currently have a deluxe I won this on the casino wheel when it was a podium vehicle long time ago and it's good but it's not as fast as the oppressor mark 2 and I remember when I first uh, started playing GTA Online only recently, I hated those uh, griefers and oppressors and I just always thought that one day I'm gonna buy an oppressor too. And that day just never came. So finally, I hope this is gonna be the day and, uh, and then later, someday, maybe I'll buy a terabyte and upgrade it for weapons. So let's start. Let's firstly sell my cocaine lockup. So I just sold the cocaine lockup and now it's time to go to the counterfeit cash factory. Oopsie. Now my counterfeit cash factory is all the way over here. These are the types of moments when I wish I had an oppressor mark too. This is my counterfeit cash factory. The cheapest one that was available. Actually, I bought it for 50% off as well because it was 50% off of the MC Club businesses last week. And in fact, this is the first time that I'm selling something from this uh, counterfeit cash factory. It's not upgraded at all. Let's complete our first sale. We on? Okay. And look at that. Just as I'm talking about buying an oppressor, this is how much I have to travel just to get to the boat and then make the deliveries. And there we go, I just sold the cash, got 9000 extra for delivery bonus and now I have 1.9. Uh, and now I think I'll sell a couple of cars because I don't have anything else to sell. So I have sold a car and now I have enough money to buy the oppressor mark 2 but uh, the thing is I have to resupply the cocaine lockup I forgot I usually resupply it right before selling the stock so I'm gonna have to do another mission And here we go everyone, I finally now have enough money to buy an Oppressor Mark II. Let's go ahead and buy it at 50% off. Okay, this is the moment. I think I should uh, get it at, the, at my home. Yes, it's sold. And now I only have $140,000 with which I have to supply firstly the cocaine lockup because it's empty. Uh, 
And okay, finally I got the message the Mach 2 is delivered. Let's go to my garage and see what it looks like. And saving failed. What a wonderful time for the saving to fail. Oh my god, here it is. My very own oppressor Mark II. I finally feel like I've made it. I've made it in this uh, GTA world. <laughs> oh god. Oh, so it, it already has machine gun. I thought I had to buy a machine gun from the thing, from the terabyte. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, this is quick, much quicker than the Deluxo. So this is what the griefers feel like. My very own Oppressor Mark II. I'm not gonna use it for griefing at all. Of course, I don't even have the missiles on it yet. Let's go to the... Let's go to the cocaine low cup. Okay, this is actually really, really good feeling because this is one of the better vehicles in the game and uh, I finally have it. Traveling is gonna be much easier for me now and traveling was my biggest headache. Really, it is indeed the biggest headache. Like, you know, I just forgot to buy supplies for my cocaine lockup and now I have to travel all the way to this Alamo C and uh, with the oppressor it, f it feels much quicker than the Deluxo and uh, the other ground vehicles. Let's resupply. Have to buy supplies for $75,000. Now I only have $49,000. So now it's time to start all over again and start the grinding process from zero. Let's see how it performs on the ground. Okay, so I don't know if it was a wise decision to buy it or not. Probably upgrading the nightclub or the other businesses would have been a better idea maybe. But the thing is I'm never ever gonna get a presser mark to it at 50% off. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the video. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I hope to now buy the terabyte and then I'll upgrade the presser mark too. So that's it. For today, thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.